because this episode is releasing on Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve, what am I talking about? This episode is releasing on New Year's Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve already passed. So if someone was listening to this podcast at 11 p.m., someone in the next time zone over could be listening to this podcast at 12. So what's possible that someone could be listening to this podcast in 2016 at the same time someone listens to this podcast in 2017? Okay. That's all. Welcome to Rocket Anywhere, where time has no fragrance. Hopefully you get that. Sophia is yawning because she's very tired because she's been staying up all night, uh, all night binge watching Netflix. And staying on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And that's all she does. Sure. Holiday, just doing nothing. I went to bed last night at 10 and I woke up at 12 and I'm still tired. No, no, no. You got in bed at 10. No, I watched, went to bed at 10. But you watched Netflix until like 2 in the morning. So anyway, we always start with the same thing, follow-up. And we have follow-up from episode 19 and episode 20. If you didn't hear last week's Christmas special, uh, it's not going to get stale like some gingerbread would. But we start with follow-up. Do the, we have any more gingerbread? I think we have two pieces of Santa. Okay, I'm going to eat him. The exclamation mark, oh yeah, this follows back on episode 18, where Sophia asked Lovely. if it's an exclamation mark or an exclamation point. So, it says that everyone else in the world calls it, everywhere else in the world, other than the United States, calls it an exclamation mark. In the United States, it's referred to as the exclamation point. Wow. Mr. Quigley would say something different. Punk, 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 punctuation. Okay. Next. Um, there was... So we started talking about numbers inside of numbers inside of numbers, and we got confused. I don't know what I have to say about this. But there was this Vsauce video that talked about how basically every single number in the world has something to do with the number four. So the number five is four letters. Right? And yeah. so... And how... And you could do all these sorts of things. So you take the number of 100 or something like that spelled out... Uh, what about six? And you divide it by a certain pi or something like that. It's what really, about six? it's a really interesting video, and I haven't seen it in a long time. For the number six, S I X, it had something to do with add add some special digit, and then divide it by something else. Add the number six to S I X, and then you get four letters, four characters. Something like that. It's really confusing. Anyway, you can watch it. Link in the description. Uh, description. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a podcaster. Link in the show notes, which is at rta.space slash 21. Can you believe it? 21 episodes. Yeah. We talked about carrot uh, as in gold. So carrot with a C is a unit of mass for gemstones. Carrot with a K is a unit for measuring the fineness of gold. Now, I'm not sure if I said this before. I feel like I've said it before, but I'm not sure. Uh, last two. How many Hawaiian King Rolls are there in a package of Hawaiian King Rolls? In a normal, um, regular package, there are 24 rolls. Yeah. Well, no. It starts out with 48, and then it ends up zero. Yeah, because we buy them the two-pack at Costco. And the last piece of follow-up is, I forgot to say it last week, but I guess it was better this. So people are going to start putting their Christmas trees away. The best way to put Christmas lights away so that you're not sitting there for practically two hours trying to untangle all the lights is you get the lights and you wrap them around a hanger. So you take those little notches in those plastic hangers and you just start wrapping it around so that when you get them out of your box or wherever you store your Christmas lights, you can just start pulling them off and it'll be easier instead of having to untangle them or just deciding that it was too hard to untangle and leaving them in a ball on the floor, which did not happen this year. Because I stored them correctly last year. Our tree stays up to like, um, until next Christmas. One time, actually, this past year it did. It stayed up yeah. till uh, like July. Uh huh. And then we took it down. And then we just brought it back up. Yeah. We should have just kept it out. Yeah. Well, that's what we were saying. We had an idea to ha- decorate the tree for every season. So. Uh, you mean holiday? Oh yeah, holiday. 
So, like, New Year's, you put 2017 things on it. Uh, spring comes, you put flowers on it. Whatever. Summer comes, you put summery things like swimming. Holidays, time. not seasons. It's seasons and holidays. Like, Valentine's Day, you put hearts and stuff on it. Fall comes around, you put leaves on it. Whatever you come up with for a holiday, season, or whatever it is. Now on to thought of the week. If someone made me memorize 84 objects and where they would be, I would think that it's impossible. Yet, I typed this without looking at my keyboard. What? So, people think it's impossible to, like, if you told someone, I need you to, rec- I need you to remember where exactly 84 objects are and their exact uh, space relationships, so or how much space there is between each item and where they are, with your eyes closed, you would say that's not possible. Well, lots of people type with their eyes, can type without looking at the keyboard. Just a thought of the week. That's what it's called. Oh, oh, okay, I get it. Yeah, just thinking about it. Now, as it being the new year, people are going to start cleaning, but I don't do spring cleaning. I do whenever I need cleaning done cleaning. So I found this thing that I saved a long time ago, like two years ago. And it's how to decide what is junk or clutter. So, here's the four questions. Have you used the item in the last year? No. Okay, yeah. Okay, wait. What are we going to do here? What are you trying to get rid of? I haven't used anything in the past year. You haven't used your legs? Mm, I mean, besides stuff I use every day. (laughs) That's very good. If I don't use it every day... I don't need it. Okay, what's something that you see every day that you don't know if you need or you don't or if you do need? I already know. Okay. Let me open this closet door and let me look around to see if there's something I need to figure out if I need to keep or get rid of. Through the magic of editing I have come back and decided to figure out if I need to keep these books or not. So, here are the questions. Have I used it in the last year? I have not used my books in the last year. Can I use it in the next week? I could. Does the item do the items have any sentimental value? No. Is the item a duplicate, meaning you have more than one? I have some duplicates, yes. So it says if you've decided from those four questions if you need to keep the item or not, here's how to get rid of the clutter. Host a yard or a garage sale. In the city of Dallas you can only have two garage sales or yard sales or whatever you want. The top of your house sale, whatever it is, wherever you can sell porch sale you can only have two a year so and they charge you and you'd probably lose more money than you would make you can also give it to charity or a mark box for giveaway you can sell it on ebay give it away on craigslist give it away to friends or neighbors take it to a dump if it's really just trash and no one else would use it so that's all for this public service announcement With 2017 here, many new listeners have joined us, so don't forget to take our survey at rta.space slash survey. Taking our survey helps us find out who our listeners are and what sponsors would be good for you guys. So take the survey at rta.space slash survey. And now, back to the show. Tis now time for Word of the Day. And today, everything is hotsy totsy. That's the word of the day if you haven't gotten it. Hotsy Totsy, older slang. It means about as right as can be, or perfect. He always thinks everything is Hotsy Totsy. So, this year, Christmas was Hotsy Totsy. It is now time for everyone's favorite part of every single show. Joke of the Fortnight. Today, I have no preparement for a joke of the week, so I'm going to be reading out of the Adventures in Odyssey Clubhouse magazine. Which, if you know, you you may have seen me walking around with it in my pocket recently. Okay, Sophia, go first with the jokes, because you probably haven't talked this entire episode. Okay. A New Year's resolution is something that goes in one ear and out the other. Ah, uh, ha, uh, ha. Huh. But... What is a cow's favorite holiday? Moo Year's Day. I thought it was going to be cow's meal. Remember, you can reset your resolutions on January 14th, uh, something New Year, and February 8th, Chinese New Year. After that, even I can't help you. (laughs) 
<laughs> or you change your your resolution every time there's a new New Year from another country. Yeah. Oh, it's Chinese New Year. I can change my resolution. <clears throat> Why are cats so good at video games? Because they have nine lives. Uh, New Year's is just a holiday created by calendar companies who don't want you reusing last year's calendar. And usually they include the first two months of the year in the calendar. What state is the most artistic? Wait. Uh, artsy zona? It could be, but they say color... Colorado. Yeah, Colorado. I was just looking uh, to see how to pronounce it. I want it. They're so artistic. I'll remember 2016 like it was yesterday. Huh. Yeah, because be, it was yesterday. Yeah, it was yesterday. Well, wait. When this gets released. Oh, okay. Unless you're listening to this in like 2,400 something. It wouldn't be 2,400. I don't know. I mean, it's possible. Mm. I won't be there, though. And you're probably wondering why you can't see us in your holographic or whatever it is, real life-size simulation something. What three animals can unlock a door? Monkeys, donkeys, and turkeys. That's nice. Okay. It's just nice. It's okay. Yeah. A lovely piece of joke. A love. A lovely piece of humor. Police. Police of humor. What do lawyers? <laughs> lawyers. I don't know how to pronounce it. What do lawyers wear to court? A, uh, I don't know. A lawsuit. I should have known that. You know, we watched The Miracle on 34th Street. Not together. Yeah, the 19-something remake. You watched it like a week after me. Yeah, the 1990-something remake. Eh. You watched the remake? Yeah, you watched the remake too. I watched the original. No, was it in black and white? Yeah, the first time I watched it, I watched black and white, and then the second time I watched it, I watched the one on color of Netflix. The one in the the black and white one is the nineteen forty something version. Then there's the nineteen sixty something version, and that, no, there's the nineteen forty version in black and white, and then there's the nineteen nineties version in the color. Uh, they have the same plot line almost, except they cut out a few scenes in the in the ninety remake in the nineties remake. Okay. Why did the crow sit on the telephone line? Because he wanted to make a long-distance call. Did you hear about the hungry clock? I did not. It went back for a second. Oh, back for a second. I mm-hmm. The way I said it. Did you hear about the new broom? It's sweeping the nation. I heard about the groundbreaking shovel. That's old. You said it last week. Yeah, I did. I actually had. I saw this thing on Reddit. I'm pulling it up right now so I can read to you because it was so amazing. Wait, okay. I'm gonna say a joke while I was looking. What is heavy forward but not backward? I have no idea. Corn. What did the baby corn say to the mama corn? I have no idea. Where's popcorn? <laughs> okay. Makes you hungry. Enough of the corny jokes. <laughs> that one. Was- so the invention of the shovel was ground. Are you going again? But the invention of the broom swept the nation. The invention of the hammer totally nailed it. The invention of the grill really smoked the competition. The invention of the switch really turned us on. But the invention of the drill was boring. And the invention of the vacuum really sucked. And the invention of the light bulb was a bright idea. It was lit. The invention of the refrigerator was really cool. The discovery of electricity was shocking. The The invention of the wheel was revolutionary. And the invention of the hand warmer was touching. Okay. This was great. It was on Reddit. We got it. Everything was on Reddit. Who earns a living driving their customers away? Uh, terminate, terminate, uh, terminators. No, Extreme. a taxi driver <laughs> or an Uber driver. Yeah, well, whatever. Uber drivers don't make that much money. Lyft drivers make more. Pro tip. 
Okay, it is now time for Today I Learned. So this is something I've heard people say before. One time we were at Costco. I was driving the grocery cart, and we had two boxes of Eggo waffles. This guy walks by. He's like, let go of my Eggos. Hmm. And I'm like, what is he talking about? For years I have wondered that, and I finally found out what let go of my Eggos means. Let go of my Eggos was a slogan from a campaign program that they had a long time ago on TV. Where let go of my Eggos means let go of my Eggos. Or yeah. I, I can't let go of my Eggo waffles. And that meant that Eggo waffles were so good that people could not let go of them. So next time someone says let go of my Eggos and you're walking around with a grocery cart full of Eggo waffles. They say that you will not be able to let go of your Lego, Lego, Ego Waffles. Every time I heard someone say that, I thought that it was a campaign that Ego Waffles wanted to make their their waffles like uh, Legos, <laughs> so you could stack them up and build things with waffles. Mm-hmm. I always thought that's what they were trying to do, but yeah. Well, it's 2017, and it's time to introduce a new segment to the show. We're calling it Why Why Oh Why. This is going to be a show like if you've ever listened to Hello Internet, Brady's Paper Cut, where we come over things that we just can't stand people doing. My first submission to why, why, oh, why is, why, why, oh, why do people still type like it's 2000? We are not character limited anymore. People still typing where, and then the letter R, and then the letter U. Because it's faster than typing where, space, A-R-E, space, why are you? How do you spell that? Be- because it's, but, but it's, if you use predictive text and you wouldn't swipe it away, you could type faster than that. If you use dictation and you just talk to it and told it what you wanted to say, it would be faster. Because people can't talk while they're in a meeting. Well, you just swipe on your keyboard. I have used proper grammar in all my text messaging unless I'm trying to pretend to be Jesse. Except sometimes on Twitter, I get confused if I'm supposed to use a punctuation mark at the end of the sentence because it looks weird if you add a period to the end of certain sentences. Yes. It it makes it seem like you're angry. I like. Okay. I can never find the. I I always have. I have an emoji to put, but I can't find it. I just I don't know. Why. That's next week's why why oh why I don't know why people use emoji. It's fine with me. I just, I can't, when I'm trying to use it, I can't find it. I've only, if you look at my recently used emoji. Okay, I'm going to pull it up right now. What my most recent used emoji is. My most recent used emoji on my iPad is the computer emoji. Second is the checkmark emoji. Third is the strawberry emoji. Fourth is the chocolate emoji. Fifth is the hamburger emoji. And then so on. Mine is the laughing emoji, then the church emoji, then the number, like the singing thing, and then an arrow pointing down, and then a smiley face. My number 15th most used emoji is an African guy with a turban. I don't know. Why? I never used that. My 15 is a pizza. French fries shows up five times in my frequently used. And then there's one at the bottom that's a sick emoji that I'm sick. And I didn't use that until, I haven't used that since April. So <laughs> that's how little I use emoji, That an emoji from my, April. I have random ones here because, like, I click the wrong one. When yes, I'm I do. To, like, I do. Swipe through you it. know why? That's that's probably why the turban guy is in there. Because I get confused and I touch the wrong emoji sometimes. Have you seen the new clown emoji in the update? Where is it? So she can't see it because she's on an old iPhone four and iOS seven. Well, I can't go get my iPad. Oh, well, I'm gonna show it to her on my iPad. Oh, he doesn't look like a clown. It looks like Ronald McDonald. I don't know. People say it's really, really scary. Why do they even look for it then? <laughs> they want to be scared? I don't know. Okay. Okay, now this is let's... This I'm using for there. Mm. Before we go on to our special game this week, we're brought to you by listeners like you who rate and review us on iTunes. You've heard me say it dozens of times, but Thousands I never... Thousands or dozens? Yeah, dozens of dozens. This podcast has only gone 21 episodes. There's a difference between rating and reviewing. 
To rate is to choose how many stars you want to give us, preferably five. And to review us is to write something for others to read. So, like, this is the most amazing show in the world. I love the show. Stuff like that. So, take your pick or do both at rta.space slash iTunes. And thank you for listening to each episode. We have fish coming by. It's cool. Before we go on to the game real quick, Sophia has requested to tell an urgent joke. Yes. Okay. Here's the joke that I found. I don't even know why I have this, but Have anyway. you stumbled on it? Yeah. Um, well, like I fell on have it. Have you but, tripped on it? Uh, yeah. Okay, so it says, when my mom's driving. And then it says, mom, I don't, uh, mom says, I don't, I don't know what light to look at. And then the aunt says, the green one. And then the mom says, there are two that are green. And then the aunt says, just pick one. The mom says, okay. So the aunt says, why did you go? We almost crashed. And then the mom said, you said just pick one. And the aunt said, I'll pick it next time. And then the mom said, ride at your own risk. Hmm. It's kind of confusing. I didn't get it. But um, okay. Why are you laughing then? Uh, For show. For public life show. Now it's time to play a game that we've been holding off, and that's the Thomas Trivia Game. Sophia, please take it to your way. Okay. Thomas Trivia. What am I... What am I... What? It's like she's the host of a game show, and she invites the panelists on, and she's like, I don't know what you guys are here for. Could someone please tell me what this <laughs> game's about? Okay. Well, I know what it's about. I just don't know how she's to She's supposed it. to ask me... The, she's supposed to tell me the names of engines and things like that on the island of Sodor. Oh, I thought I was if, supposed to tell you the name. If you... Yeah, the... I mean, the, the, na- I mean the, the number. The name or stuff like that. And then she's... And then I'm gonna... And then I'm gonna answer with the number, make, or model and stuff like that. Now, I've been watching Thomas since I was born, so I should know all these things by heart. And the last time I watched Thomas was yesterday. Really? Yeah. Last time I watched it was like a month ago. So, yeah. Not that I'm seeking it out and watching it. I watch it with uh, siblings. Yeah, it's just your brother has it blurring loud in the next room. Uh huh. And I hear it all. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. Yeah. Um. So obviously, Thomas. Number one, Thomas. You're the number one. That Thomas. is not even the song. I know. I got confused. Okay. Thomas. He's the number one. Mm, no, he's the cheeky one. Yeah. Yeah. You you got it wrong again. Anyway. Okay, Percy. Still counts. Percy is number number six. Gordon. Gordon is four. Ding. Henry is three. Ding. James is five. Ding. Edward. Two. Ding. Toby. Seven. Ding. Emily. Has no number is a yes. one wheel is a, is a big is a is a one wheel train. Wow, that, that's dangerous. <laughs> no, it's it's a, a a big wheel train. I forgot what a they're big called. Big wheel train. No, it has a big drive wheel. Oh, okay. I, that doesn't count. I knew that before and I forgot it. Yeah, okay. That's X. Uh, okay. Winston. Uh, 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 you have to uh, tell me about him because he doesn't have a number. He's their tough and hat little car that rides on the tracks instead of his blue car. And? That couldn't speak. And he's electric. And? Come on, color. He's red. What he does. He's red, and mm-hmm. he drives on the tracks, and he, he goes really slow. And so tough and hat and his two bodyguards sit there. No. You have not watched Thomas. Okay. It's been a long time. He's a shunting engine. He's a shunting en- engine? I thought it was the little red one. Yes, but he's a shunting engine. He's using the shunting yard. That small? Yes. Is there train rights activists here or something? We need to get that I engine don't know. Anyway. out of there. Uh, lady. Mystical engine living at the top of the mountain. No. Anyway. Go on. Hurry up. Uh... Uh, makes all the engines be able to speak. Start at the beginning, please. He's on a, oh, hold on, because because there's a lot of fan people about this. Uh, I will clarify, in my opinion, uh. Lady has nothing to do with the normal British line of television series. Lady is on a different, just like Doctor Who and Star Wars have two separate timelines and stuff, 
that because of all the fans and stuff, the 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 timeline where Lady is alive is a completely separate timeline, in my opinion. Although Rusty does get carried over from timeline one and two, there may be a connection. The writers have not it's told called us. called the buffers? I shall not go there because I have a lot of opinions about the buffers. Hero. Wow, I said that wrong. <sighs> no, number, Hero. number number 56. He has a number? Yeah, he's... He, no, he's yeah, he's number 56. But it got covered up when he got repainted. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I'll do that in follow-up. We're not sure, I'm not sure if that's exactly true. I don't know, but anyway, just say what he is then. He's a, a, a Japanese engine that came from the mainland. No. Well? He came from Oliver Island. Oliver Island? That's what Wikipedia said. Um, I'm not, I'm not that deep of a fan. I'm not reading Wikipedia. No, I knew this, but I was just reading it off of Wikipedia, so in case I had, like, extra, you know. Oh, uh, well, I refresh. didn't know anyway, that. Anyway, Stafford. Uh, uh, I know the episode title was Steamy Stafford, because he's an electric engine who can only go a few hours on a charge, and he's really boxy, and he doesn't have a number. Yeah, he does. Okay, anyway. All the new engines these days don't have numbers. Did Duck have a number? No, Duck was just called, uh... The Great Rustin Railway. The Great Rusty Railway. Rust Western. Why don't? Why can't I say railway? Well, you just said it. No, I said railway. Railway. That's how I say it now. That I book can't we say used it. to read when we were little, he says, wake the leaves, wake the leaves, and they're going, wake up, wake up. But he's like, no, rake the leaves. But he has a speech problem. Wake, 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 like that. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got rid of my topic. Okay, oops. So would you say that I have passed this test? What test? Am I um, beginner, intermediate, or advanced? Intermediate. That's what I would say to you. I'm not all the way in. Okay, Dookie, let's move on to a topic. So we're running a little long this week. So, Sophia, do you have a topic? Why do people believe in Santa Claus? I want to make this into a video where I can go ask kids, but I think... They believe in Santa Claus. Okay, if you don't, if you believe in Santa Claus, you might want to turn this off right now. Just letting you know, okay? It's like us getting political. Uh Uh-huh. It's like people getting political on Facebook. Here we go. Here comes the fights. Parents, we've given you enough time to turn this off. No fist fights. Yeah, no fist fights, everyone. Okay. So, I think people believe in, uh, kids believe in Santa. No, people. There are people who believe in Santa. Well, yeah. But because it's it's just... I mean, not the kids aren't people, but like... It's a bribe for the parents at this holiday where you're going to receive large presents and items and stuff. They're supposedly uh, given by a mystical man who it only will give them to you if you behave well. Oh, I have a joke about this. Tell it so that you okay. can relieve the tension. Okay, okay. so if um, Santa Claus makes a list... And he sees who's naughty and who's nice. And he delivers presents on uh, Christmas Eve. I was about to say Christmas Day, but no, that's too late, apparently. So, uh, Christmas Eve. Then, uh, that's the 24th, right? Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Then, from the 25th all the way to January 1st, he's not making a list of who's naughty and who's nice. Because he starts at the beginning of the year. It's a vacation. Exactly. So. Because he's seen us as we record this podcast. Okay, parents, you can start listening with your kids again. Because we're running along, we're going to have one more topic that we, this week. And that is the the very painful transition from writing the number six to having to write the number seven. What? Yes. Switching from writing 2016 to writing 2017. It's not. Well, if we would skip 2017, it would be a lot easier to write yeah. 8 because you just have that. Yeah, to because code. going going from 2015 to 2016 was easy because you could just finish the loop on 5. Yeah. And it would be like a boxy 6, but yeah. it, you could still tell it was a 6. Yeah. It's going to be hard this year. Is 7 going to have a fancy loop at the bottom now? Are you going to have to have 7 come out of the top of the number 6? No, because then it would look like a really weird 8. Yeah, it's going to be really hard this year. The best thing to do this year is don't try to fix it. Just erase it. Yeah, scratch it out and just write 
eight on start top. Start fresh. And seven on top of it. Start fresh this year. Next oh. year. Don't Wait, scrap yeah, this your year. entire homework. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> I wrote the number six. I have to start over. There's, there's really no way to do it this year. It's really hard. Okay, well, we're going to uh, move on to announcements now before we go. So, thanks for listening. If this is your first time here, please subscribe. And you can find the best way to listen on your phone if you're on an Android, on your Blackberry, if you still have those things. If you're listening in Am your I car. Am I free to go? Not yet. Uh, to find the best way to listen on your phone, go to rta.space slash listen. The letters R-T-A dot, uh, I mean, R-T-A period S-P-A-C-E, a a forward slash listen. Please review us on iTunes if you enjoyed the show this week, and if you happen to own a Tesla, like I said last week, we're now on TuneIn, and we're also on iHeartRadio, which has their headquarters here in Dallas. Um, you can get listens to those. Uh, links to those again at rta.space let's listen if you have any suggestions for the show think that I need to improve something or something here or anything because nothing is something uh, suggestions email us at rocket to anywhere show at gmail.com or you can tweet us uh, at rta show on twitter I'm forgetting how to speak show notes for anything we mentioned this week are at that's rta. that's what happens dot- when we record a podcast what that's what happens when we, re- yeah. for, when we a- record a podcast <laughs> Show notes for this week's episode are, are at rta.space slash 21. You can watch so some... We only have two videos out, but with February coming up, we made this video a long time ago about Super Bowl parties. So you we did? might... Yeah, we did. Whoa, wait. Wait, 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 wait. I actually might be releasing that to the public. You can release that? Uh, maybe. I don't know. You'll find out. But you can only find out if you subscribe to our YouTube channels. That's rta.space slash videos or at youtube.com slash rta space. Mm. Also, a quick maintenance announcement for me. Uh, at the end of this year, 2016, my other podcast, The Tech Minute, will be shutting down. No more episodes, nothing else. Everything's still going to be alive. What? Never mind. Anyway, yeah, it's over. <laughs> it's over. It's over. Now. The year's over. It's over. That's all going on. Yeah, everything's over. Podcast is over. Go? What? The, the saying, it's like something, something, and to all a good night. Oh, Merry Christmas, and to all a good night. Are you sure? Oh, so, it's something like that from Tiny, Ti- Tiny Tim. From, uh. It, no, it's longer than that. It's a Muppet Christmas. It's I don't know. It's a Muppet know. Christmas, and to all a good night. Well, the. That's what it's, yeah, something like that, but, uh, yeah. Tech Minute's shutting down. Tech Minute's over. And uh, all 20, good night. 2016's over. And this episode is episode. over. Episode. Episode is over. <laughs>